Hello everyone, welcome to Sue's Cookbook Channel. How are y'all? Hope all of you are doing well. Over here I'm fine, thank you. Okay, today I'll be cooking something very special and it's actually everyone's favorite. Most of us love this dish and it is biryani. And what's so special today is I'm going to make lamb biryani. Okay, so it's going to be very tender, soft, the rice is going to be very fluffy and you will really enjoy watching me do it and definitely you will enjoy doing it for yourself. So do stay tuned till the end and now let's get to the kitchen to see what the ingredients are. Okay, firstly I will show you what are the ingredients that I'm going to use to marinate the lamb. Here I have about 1 kg of lamb. I've just cut it into big chunks like this. Some salt, turmeric powder, some plain yogurt, black peppercorns, coriander leaves, mint leaves, pudina, some green chilies, and a small piece of ginger. I'm going to put all this into a dry blender like this, blend it into a thick paste, and I'm going to marinate the lamb, and I'm going to leave it overnight. So this is the paste that I blended all the ingredients, the fresh ingredients just now. I'm going to pour this over the lamb to allow this to marinate for 24 hours. Uh, if you are deciding to cook for that very day, then at least marinate it for 3 hours. So I'll be cooking this in a rice cooker and I will also use a bit of rose water. Okay? If you don't have rose water, you may use a teaspoon of uh, rose essence. But these are actually optional as well. So here are the ingredients for the lamb biryani. This is the lamb that I marinated yesterday and I left it overnight in the fridge. Uh, how I marinated, uh, I showed you all uh, together with the coriander leaves, mint leaf and uh, yogurt and pepper. So this was marinated. Okay, here I have some water. This water is actually from the paste. This is almond and cashew nut. Okay, I just put it in a blender with some water, blended it into a thick paste, and this is the water that I got from it. Some ghee, salt, two cups of basmati rice, which I soaked in the water for about 30 minutes and drained it now. Here I have screw pine leaves, down pandan. Two tomatoes, garlic ginger paste, coriander and mint leaves, some red and green chilies. For garnishing, I have more coriander and mint leaves here, and green and red chilies, and some cherry tomatoes. The dry ingredients: some vegetable granules and biryani masala. Uh, this is actually one cinnamon stick, which I just broke it into. Uh, three small pieces, bay leaves, star anise, peppercorns and cloves. This is one nutmeg. Huh? The nutmeg looks like this. Okay, so I just pounded it using a mortar and pestle together with a few cardamom pots. So if you don't have this type of nutmeg, you can just use nutmeg uh, powder. Or you, if you don't want to use it at all, because some of you I know they don't like the nutmeg uh, flavour. You can just skip it, okay? And for the spice powder, here I have meat powder, cumin powder, and turmeric powder. Keeping it quite simple actually, not using any coconut milk or any cream for the matter. So let's get started. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to saute the basmati rice for about half to one minute. Just a little bit of ghee, just very little. I'm going to add one bay leaf, one cinnamon stick and a little bit of the ginger garlic paste. And add the rice now. 
make sure it is well drained huh? there's no water in it and that's it keep this aside and now we shall cook the meat once the pan or wok is hot add in some oil I did not mention the oil just now so just add in some oil so I'm going to use ghee as well so not too much of oil and for now I use one heaped uh, tablespoon of ghee put in all the dry herbs and spices first keep the flame medium low Ginger garlic paste, about two thick tablespoon. Put in the lamb pieces. If you want to cut it into smaller pieces, also can. Eh? Five six minutes now. I'm just going to add in the two pine leaves, which is down pandan leaves. It brings a beautiful flavor actually. When you're cooking meat, huh? you use down pandan. Then to add in the meat curry powder. All this you can adjust according to how much you want to use, huh? So I'm using about three heaped tablespoon, and then uh, got some cumin powder here, about one tablespoon, and one teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder. The water from the pan, from the pot. This is the cashew nut and almond. Huh? The almond I soaked it in hot water for about one hour, removed the skin, just uh, blended it into a thick paste. So just the water from the blender. now this will become very thick because of the cash nut and uh, what do you call that almond paste it's about 25 minutes now I'm going to check bring down the flame first before opening any cover and let me check if the meat is cooked I'm going to take out one small piece Use the scissors to cut and make sure that it's fully cooked. Huh? Yes, it is. Bring back the flame to medium low. I have actually removed the partial of the brown pandan leaves and cinnamon as well. So, I'm going to add in now the cardamom powder and nutmeg powder. If you don't like the taste of it, just add a little bit, or you may just skip it. Huh? But it would be good to have some nutmeg flavor in the lamb. But cardamom is a must. We to add tomatoes, red green chili, mint leaf, and coriander leaves. In the biryani masala and the vegetable granules seasoning eh? or some come in powder form whichever that you would like to use one spoon of uh, uh, sorry ghee and 
salt, to taste, mix well first. Allow this to simmer for about 5 minutes and then I will remove most of the gravy which I will actually uh, use it for uh, the later part when we are eating the rice. So you are not going to use this whole gravy together and cook the rice huh? because we will be using water as well. I am going to remove some of the gravy as much as possible. Huh? I am only going to have the amount of gravy to be used for the rice. So now for this amount, I am just going to allow this to simmer for 5 minutes. I'm going to keep it covered and let the gravy thicken some more before adding in the rice. Okay, it should come to this consistency here. Yeah? So we still have gravy in it. Now I'm going to remove this from the flame. Turn off the fire. And I'm going to use my rice cooker now. So just show you how what I'm going to do. I'm just going to scoop a bit of the meat and I'm going to put it underneath. Okay, it's going to be like rice, meat, rice, meat. And pour in the gravy as well. Some coriander and mint leaves. Cherry tomatoes, a few green leaves, uh, sorry, green and red chili, and the rice goes in now. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it in. It's two cups of rice, huh? So I'll put one layer. little bit of ghee and the remaining coriander, mint leaves, red and green chilies and cherry tomatoes and I'm going to add in a bit of yellow coloring this is optional just a bit here, a bit here and a bit here and the rose water I'm going to add some rose water. This is optional. You can add rose water or you can add uh, rose essence. If you do not want to add also, can. Uh? I'm just going to add about one tablespoon. As for the water, one cup to two cups of, one cup of rice to two cups of water. Check the seasoning, the salt is enough and so on. Now put it in the rice cooker. It's about 25 minutes now. Let me check. Wow. I'm going to use a fork just by the side. Just going to fluff the rice. Just make sure that you don't break the grains. I'm using a long grain basmati rice. Wow. Smells so good. Just lightly fluff the rice. You can see that it's very moist so probably I don't have to sprinkle any water but if you find your rice is a bit dry then please do sprinkle some water yeah just mix it but make sure you do it very gently this is before the rice cooker goes to warm it's still the rice is still not cooked yet so you should not be fluffing it too much just a little bit just sort of like lifting it up okay so that's all close it back and allow it to cook so you can see that the rice is beautifully cooked now you can see the long grains huh? it's still intact so I said you have to be very gentle and now I'm 
just going to sprinkle a bit more fresh coriander and mint leaves and also the fried shallots and cashew nuts you can put in more as you are eating but this will soften once you close the rice cooker I'm also going to add some, instead of raisins alone, just going to add some mixed berries. So got some cranberries and raisins. Just add some sweetness to the dish. So these are the two side dishes that I'm going to serve the rice with. It's got raita here. I'm using a Japanese uh, cucumber, uh, yogurt and salt and onion pickles. So I hope you all enjoyed watching the video just now of me making the lamb biryani. Besides lamb, you can also use mutton and chicken. It was quite a simple recipe because I tried to simplify as much as possible. So do try this recipe and leave your comments in my comment section. And if you have any pictures to take, you may actually post it on my Instagram, sue.cookbo. So do like, do subscribe and do share with your family and friends. Until I see you again on my next video channel, take care, bye!